Welcome to the AACS Daily News. An Atterborough native has turned a small hobby into a full-blown business. Brian Soares has collected and repaired or refurbished pinball machines over the last 15 years, and now he even builds custom machines. He says that he appreciates the artwork and mechanical work that goes into creating pinball machines. AACS spoke with him to learn more. My name is Brian Soares. I live here in Norton, Massachusetts, grew up in Attleboro. Um, I got involved with uh, pinball back in 2007 or so. Basically, I, I had designed prior a arcade machine and projector, and I wanted to do something with pinball. So I uh, had gone on eBay, bought a machine, uh, needed extensive updating, and basically I needed to repaint the whole game before my wife would let me bring it in the house because it was cigarette stained. So at the time, not too many people were doing restorations like that. And um, I showed the person that I bought it from who had been a longtime collector and he was blown away. And he said, well, hey, I have this other game over here if you're interested. And uh, I was kind of all beat up. And um, I took it, turned it into a Boston Red Sox machine. And that one thing led to another. I made one for the kids. And then there were like local collectors. And then as time went by, I ended up introducing a blog site where I had a lot of people putting in requests. And then uh, if I fast forward up to maybe 2017, I got involved with Rebby Hardy. She's the wife of pro wrestler uh, Matt Hardy. And uh, she wanted a special game for her husband. And she uh, really challenged me to take that, my game to the next level. So then I built a game based on the, the same machine I used here for Ferris Bueller and for Happy Gilmore. We made uh, Matt Hardy's Expedition of Gold. And uh, that was a big success. From there, I ended up forming a company and website custompinballmachines.com and now I sell to people all over the world. Well, my background is uh, mechanical engineering. I graduated from Northeastern many years ago. I have, uh, I think, six US patents, mainly in medical device space. But uh, basically all the, the types of tools that I use in, in my mechanical engineering world, I put in place to do these restorations, whether it's you know just from taking things apart, creating, um, it could be prototypes. I have a 3D printer in the other room that I prototype things with. I've always been involved with art. Did a lot of that back in, at Attleboro High School. Um, so I've learned, you know, Photoshop, Illustrator, and uh, basically, you know, can do all my own artwork. You know, initially it was all about uh, New England sports teams. We're a big sports family, so I built, you know, Red Sox, Patriots, Bruins, Celtics. And that's really where it all started. But then as more people came to me asking for uh, different designs, you know, uh, it started to be, you know, cars. So I've done, you know, uh, Porsche racing games. I've done Ferrari uh, games. Um, and then a lot of it has been with uh, movies so you know I'm big into well my family likes Ferris Bueller's Day Off and Happy Gilmore so those are the two that I actually own that I, I never keep any for myself they're always custom designed for for individuals I always have a wait list for my games there's a major I'll say adult cartoon company that I'm doing a special project for with five games coming out uh, probably in September, October time frame. But one that I can talk a little bit about is uh, I'm working with uh, the creators of Cobra Kai and we're uh, doing uh, two games to commemorate the, uh, the six seasons of, of their TV show. This totally started off just as a hobby. You know, I, I really found as I started taking the games apart, it was a lot of fun. Um, and then, you know, sanding them, painting them, putting all things back together. So it was truly just a hobby and uh, and yeah, it's it wasn't really work. Even now, I mean, there's there's, there's long days at, at times. Some of these projects take a lot more work than others, but um, it's definitely uh, worthwhile. 